Welcome back, Busy Bees, to our 30 days to eating healthy and living. I'm Zung, and today I'm gonna give you another soup recipe. You guys love the soup series that I did in the fall, so every Tuesday, I'm gonna be sharing my favorite soup recipe with you. Today, we're gonna be making a veggie-filled soup. If there was one dish that you wanted to get all your veggies in at once, that's also comforting and satisfying, this is it. If you guys are excited to join me on this 30 day journey to eating healthy and just reset with some veggies and all the good stuff for your body, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you guys have any special requests for a specific soup series, don't forget to comment in the section below. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with our veggie soup. I get asked about this stock pot a lot, so I'm just gonna tell you guys what it is right now off the bat. It's a 3.5 quart Le Creuset, and I love this pink color. But any big heavy bottom pot will do. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. So first, I'm gonna add some ghee. Ghee is clarified butter, and it's been said by nutritionists that it has an amino acid that promotes weight loss. I'm using a tablespoon of ghee here, and I'll add it to my pot, let it melt. The ghee will add a really aromatic and nutty flavor. If you don't have ghee, you can substitute for a tablespoon of butter or olive oil. Then I'll add half of an onion that I've already chopped, saute it for about a minute or two, and then I'll add two carrots chopped, and one celery chopped. My mirepoix! Next, I'll add two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, one clove of minced garlic, and one teaspoon of kosher salt. I'll continue sauteing it until the seasonings really release its oils. It's gonna smell really good. All right, our vegetables have cooked down and kind of brown. This is where you really develop all the flavors. And then I'm gonna add the rest of the veggies. I have one zucchini that I've chopped, one cup of green beans that I've cut into one inch pieces, a cup of broccoli, and I'll cook it for another two minutes. flavor, my friend. Don't worry, the broth will deglaze it and really infuse all that juicy and vegetable flavor into our soup. You want healthy, but you also want it to taste good, and that's where it's at. Now I'll add half a cup of diced tomatoes with its juice, five to six cups of vegetable broth, depending on how soupy you like it, and finally, our secret weapon to really flavor it and give this soup some depth. Parmesan rind. And then I like to add a fresh sprig of rosemary into my soup, give it a final stir. So the Parmesan rind is kind of my secret weapon for this soup. It really adds a saltiness and it really amps up the depth of flavor. You have that vegetable with the cheesy flavor. This is my favorite soup. If you guys are wondering where you can get the um, Parmesan rind, you can actually go to any cheesemonger and ask them, hey, can I have some Parmesan rind? Whole Foods is where I normally get mine and they just put it in like a box like this and it's really cheap. I got, let's see, I got a box with like four or five pieces for 250 and they're like this big. <sighs> I usually store them in the freezer and anytime I make soup, I'll just add a piece in. And we'll close the lid, let it simmer on medium heat for about 25 minutes until the veggies are nice and cooked down. Then I'll show you guys our next step. The soup looks so great oh, and it smells so hearty. So next step, I'm gonna fish out my rosemary and the Parmesan, just because we don't wanna bite into them when serving. 
And then keeping the soup on a low simmer, I'm gonna amp up the soup to make it a little more filling. Here I have a whole can of cannellini beans, which are just uh, white kidney beans that I got from the market. I like them because they're big and they're hearty. I'm adding them right before serving because if I added them in while the soup was cooking and boiling, all of this would have been gone and you would just have been left with like a shell. And then I'm adding in some Savoy cabbage. I'm giving cabbage soup a whole new meaning. This is my favorite cabbage. It's this one right here. It's got like curly edges. And you can find them at any grocery store nowadays, but if you can't find this one, you can substitute for Napa cabbage. Although I feel like Napa cabbage gets too mushy. Um, kale would be another good option or spinach, but I like this one because it holds its structure. I'll add it into my pot, bring it back up to a boil, let it cook for five minutes and we're ready to serve. So many veggies. And then to garnish, I just like adding a little bit of parsley on top. Our soup is done. It's so colorful. The broth smells so good. I'm gonna give it a try. The veggies are so soft, but I love that the Savoy cabbage gives it a little bit of texture and a slight crunchiness to it. I didn't cook the Savoy cabbage all the way down, but you certainly could if you wanted to. Mm. What a way to get your veggies in. I don't feel like it's a chore to eat my veggies or anything at all. I just love how the flavors just all meld together. Of course, I used what veggies I like to add in here, but you can certainly add your own if you want. If you wanted to add more tomatoes, you could. If you wanted to add, let's see what, what would be good in here. Uh, if you wanted to add bell peppers or eggplant and take it in kind of like a Mediterranean direction, that would be really delightful as well. Now let's talk about how you could prep this for lunch, for work or school. I have just a 16 ounce mason jar in here. Of course, if you wanted to eat more, you can get a bigger jar, but I would just fill up three quarters of way full and then heat it up. If you don't have access to a microwave, Another really great way to store it is in a thermos. Here I have a regular red plaid thermos. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little tricky to add it into this one right here, but I only have um, this thermos. You can just use a funnel to add the vegetables in there, but this would be a really great way to keep it hot, piping hot so that it's ready for you to eat. And then also, if you guys feel like this isn't enough food for you, pairing this with a lean protein like chicken or my salmon yesterday with the lentil salmon, uh, that would be another really great option. Don't you guys feel so much healthier already? I do. Of course, I'm eating this every day. So everything that I make for the show, you guys, we end up eating for lunch and dinner. Tomorrow, I'm thinking I will do a quinoa rice bowl or a quinoa grain bowl actually, because it's not rice, uh, with a yummy protein. Leave a comment below so you can let me know what kind of grain bowls you like and which direction I should go with it. I'm making this pretty much live to edit every day, so your comments and suggestions will be totally taken into consideration, and I will make whatever you guys wanna see. Thank you so much for watching Soup Tuesdays, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!